Hey everyone, how are you? I'm Mukesh and welcome to Amazing Outdoor Cooking. Fish broth. Simple, using basic ingredients, but yet so, so tasty. So that's on the menu today. Uh, let's get straight in. Here we have like two pounds of kingfish. I love using grouper head, but it was frozen and this kingfish is more fresh. So I decided to pick up the kingfish. Here we have some nice provisions, some potatoes, Boniata sweet potato. I like the boniata sweet potato because the texture is better. It don't fall apart. We have some green bananas and we have some carrots. That's a provision. We have some okra. You have to have that okra in there, right? For the seasoning, the regular season, a nice bunch of culantro, bandania, some scallions. I'm just going to use two of these scallions and the rest I'm just going to chop up for when we uh, dish out or broth, we'll sprinkle some scallion, onion, garlic, pimento, scotch bonnet pepper. And this lime, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with that. And here, <laughs> that is yellow split peas, dal. We're gonna use this in our fish broth. And I know everybody is saying right now, what Mukesh, are you crazy? No, I'm not crazy. This. This really makes that fish broth give that flavor, so much flavor. So try it, use that, use that dal. Just a little, you don't want to put too much because if you do, then you're going to have a soup instead of a broth, you know? And I'm, I'm kind of saying fish broth, fish broth, because that's what we are custom saying, fish broth. If I remember, I'll say fish broth, okay? So along with that, we have salt, black pepper, and my, my go-to, sazon. I love this. Sazon is so great. And Maggie, soup it up. Fish tea. We're gonna add that. So we bring all this together and this fish broth is gonna be the thing. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get all this seasoning into our processor. Give it a, a really good, good chop and season up this fish and we'll get it going. First I'll just Start my uh, water, get it heated, and we'll be right back. Okay, so this scotch bonnet, we really don't know how hot it is because sometimes it's hot, sometimes it's not. So let's try it and see. That's hot. So we're just gonna add, we just gonna add like half. Yeah, maybe. Whoops, half. That's half. We're gonna tell everybody that's half. Now bring that camera on me. You see, all this. We're in South Florida, and it is so humid that yeah, you know we can't help it. We wait for the sun to go down, thinking that you know it will cool down, but no. So so please, when you see that like little, forgive me, right? Okay, so let's season up the fish first thing. So we're gonna do some salt. Black pepper. That should do it. Some saison. Should do it. Oh, you could smell that pepper. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. Smell that. Smell good, right? I tell you, it's very simple recipe, but it's gonna taste really, really good. Let's check this water. Oh, perfect timing. 
So here's what we're gonna do. To this water, we're gonna add all of the seasoning. Season that water properly. That's the rest of the seasoning. Just wanna get all in there. We're gonna add the dal in here right now. Just a little. That's just that's just for maximum taste, man. I'm telling you. Try that dal. Works very, very good. And right away we're gonna add some of this soup up. Turn this up. Just gonna give it a few minutes, then we'll add the provisions to that. All right, so we're gonna add all these provisions in there. Potato, boniata sweet potato, bananas, and carrots. So here we go with some lime juice. Nice fresh lime juice in there. I know, I know. It's not what we normally do, but hey, like I tell you, we have to break the rules. Try it, you would love it. We're gonna let that cook for maybe another eight minutes or so, and then we'll add the fish. And and my salted butter forget uh it's like uh you know it's golden ray it's not really neatly packaged because i use from it but yeah it works oh i'm telling you if you smell this with that lime and that pepper it's like a chow so we let that cook for maybe another eight ten minutes and then we'll add the fish and the okra Okay, it's been about like 10 minutes, so we're gonna add the okra. Now we're gonna add this kingfish. Mm. Yeah. Maybe we could keep this last one and fry it. Because <laughs> it, yeah, it looks so good. Nice, and I like to add that salt butter. From the minute I add that fish, I like to add the salt butter. And about that is good. How is that looking? Mm. all right so hey so you know let me just say this you know i know i talk about it's humid out here and it's really hot and we're sweating but my son and i we love being outside we love the outdoors we love cooking outside we love hanging outside you know it doesn't matter if it's hot or if it's raining it doesn't matter now this is outdoor cooking, amazing outdoor cooking for a reason. Okay, um, when you're by the river or the beach or you go camping, I mean anything goes. You know, the paper plate, the the Cyrotec cups, the bowls, anything goes. You don't expect me to be cooking outdoor and bring in the silverware out, right? It's outdoor cooking for a reason. So whatever you see here, just imagine yourself by the river or by the beach, hanging out with family and friends cooking and stuff like that. What are you gonna do? You're gonna go in for the ceramic plates and stuff? No, it's a regular stuff. 
So I, I, I'm just being real, you know, and I know my viewers are, are very intelligent and they understand that, but I just needed to say that, okay? So thank you for understanding. We'll get back to this fish broad in a little bit. Ivy, you want to taste? Yeah, yeah. All right. As you all know, this is the way we taste. Yeah. Missing anything? No. I'm trusting you. No. Stove off. All right, cool. That is perfect. Honestly, like, like, no, that's good. Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> that's good. That's so good. bring it in. Let's that's good. check this out. This. We're going to enjoy this. And that's one of the, I'm, yeah, that's good. And fish broth. Fish broth is one of the things when you're hanging out and stuff with friends and stuff. It's the quickest thing. This is the quickest thing to do. It, this costs us like $20. And we just hang out with friends and family. I mean, and you know what it's great for? Hangovers. It's not like I have hangover because, you know, I don't get hangovers. <laughs> but if you do have a hangover, a pot of fish broth is so, so good. I'm hoping to have a hangover one day. <laughs> and then I'll try it. <laughs> All right, that's it. I'm joining in. The thing is to sprinkle some of these scallions. You don't need it. You don't need it. <laughs> it's good. If you want to squeeze the line. Alright, here's the thing. I was talking about fire eels, they like the rough master, but. Mm. This right here smashes. And that it's half, good. that half of pepper that we use, remember that half of pepper? Just perfect. The heat is just right. Well, this is good. Remember this ingredients because this is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I forget already, but check that out. Check it out. That is so good. Mmm. Rob? What are you saying? <laughs> I, I have to get a little closer. It's, it's really good, Uncle Mom. I love it. You know, that's fine. Just want to get a little closer. It's a little bit Trinidadish. See all that? It is a little one. <laughs> a little bit Trinidadish. <laughs> and honestly, I'm not even saying it for the camera, like for real, for real. No, seriously. It's, no, like, seriously, yeah. it's good. <laughs> Like, this might be the best one he made. No, I think so. so. You see. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I forget everything I did, but I can always go back to the video and see. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, bro. That that pepper with the lime juice, and I, I'm telling you that dal, that yellow split piece, do it. No more than maybe two tablespoons of that dal. You boil it down, get it into a piece, and just add it to your pot. It is so good. Trust me on that one. I know what I'm telling you. But I wish you all could taste this. For real. Yeah. I'm glad all I can taste it. That is my more for me. Mmm. <laughs> How's the fish? Super tender, it's nice. Kingfish, yeah. Yeah, not breaking up too much. And that bunny had a sweet potato I tell you all about. The regular sweet potato, it melts too quick, it breaks up too quick. But you see that bunny hatter? It's a sweet potato, but it's still firm. It, it, it holds up, it holds that body. So it, see? So try that. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Make you want to drink? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I get to have a drink? <laughs> of course you should. I'm about to have a drink after this. Uh -huh. That's really good, man. I love sweet potatoes and uh, yeah. 
Yeah. And it's like yeah. how he brought his, his uh, light brought, it's yeah. not heavy. Yeah, not heavy. Oh, and that's yeah, another thing. Good thing you yeah. say that. So, yeah, with that doll, that, 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 that um, yellow split bean, you can't add too much because, like I say, it will it yeah. turn into yeah. a soup. You don't yeah. want it into a soup. Yeah. You want exactly. Yeah. It's a broth or a broth. <laughs> yeah. You want that watery kind of thing, like. So, this is just amazing. Um, Simple recipe or oh, basic ingredients. The only thing I did different was add that dal, and I know a lot of you add that um, that soup it up, that that fish soup thing, you know. And I, I love the uh, sazon because it brings a lot of flavor to uh, to anything you cook, all the meat and uh, and the seafood. It brings a lot of flavor to it. So you know, we're gonna enjoy this and. Um, if you enjoyed this video please like share and uh, like I'll continue to say share with friends and family and um, subscribe hit that bell so whenever we upload an another video you will be the first all right so until then my friends peace out.